What's up guys, Shea Stevens here, PDG number 77522, and today we're taking a look at some more of my collection. Let's get to it. All right, so in the previous episodes, we looked at my throwing rack, and these are discs I intend to throw or have thrown. Moving forward, we're going to be looking at some of the discs that I've either retired from throwing that I used to throw, or discs that I got that you know just look cool that I used to decorate you know my office at work here at home, um, or just to support you know touring pros or artists. So let's get going with my putters. Starting off with the solo molds, I have Color Glow Stabilizer, and this is going to be neat. These might be the only Color Glow we ever see from MVP. Uh, they basically released after you know they they worked on Eclipse 2.0, and the goal there is they want to be able to light the disc up on hole one, play 18 holes of glow, and when you tap out on 18, that disc is still glowing. So the goal is to make the disc glow as long as possible, and adding color additive does dim the glow. So they've said so far they don't want to add color additive to the mixture just yet. Uh, the goal right now is just making the best glow on the market. So this might possibly be the only time we ever see color glow from MVP. Moving along, special edition neutron stabilizer. So real pretty color, minty green, kind of got some cool swirling on the back. Again, I am still playing with the stabilizer, see if I want to add it to my bag or not. Moving along, we have a special edition pilot electron. And this is pretty neat because we actually uh, had MVP take the special edition stamp or the limited edition stamp and make it the stock stamp. So basically the only thing between this and another pilot just it has a little limited edition down here. But I like the black on black with the gold and silver accents. Next up, special edition Proton Pilot. Got the Space Surfer on there looking neat. Next up, Neutron Special Edition Pilot. Really nice bursty yellow. It's got a cool burst on the back there. Uh, I slept on the Pilot for a bit. I do like throwing it. It's you know it's a bomber, uh, a bomber putter for you know max distance off a putter shot. But I find the Envy has a little more versatility for me. It's why I throw them. Then I have a MVP Open uh, Plasma Pilot. Real pretty. It's got some gold flake in there, so it gets really shiny. I like it. And I actually have a second one, so one of these might be going up for auction. We'll see. Got black with the gold leafing. This is my favorite. This one I'll probably keep. It'll be the green one if I put one up. Really like how this one turned out. Going to Overmold. First off, I have a Scott Stokely blue, uh, signed Blue Power Atom. Blue Power was kind of the thing that solidified MVP for me. Uh, that Fission Photon that I got, you know, started me on the journey and... Uh, I enjoy working with the special needs students at my school, and so when Scott started the whole Blue Power movement to you know advocate for that group, and you know, MVP decided to back him, that kind of really made me throw in with MVP. So, you know, the photon was the foot in the door, and this was kind of the shove through. Okay, we got a team series here. We got a autographed Schloth for uh, Tyler Schrock. Got Proton Adam. Next up, Heart of the Chains. This is possibly my favorite design. I got the hoodie with it too. I just love the artwork on this one. Another tour series. I keep them bagged if I have like a you know certificate with their or a note or something. Got the the Lily Ruffin tour series disc that you autographed for me. Thank you, Lily. Real nice bursty atom. Then I got a DGPT 2018 atom. I always try to buy a disc from the DGPT every year to support them. I think uh, you know Disc Off Network showed us you know through worlds that live disc golf is it's here to stay. It's you know what our sport needs. So always want to support them. Next up, 2018 did not get it signed from Jennifer Sawyer. Uh, I love this design. The whole meditation like into the saw blades, real cool design. Got a Skullboy Adam here. I like the you know the, the foil job on that. Got a little dirt on here. Clean that off. <laughs> Let's see. Special edition Proton Atom. Metal flake in there, so nice glowing. Nice shining effect. Another Skullboy Atom with the chains and the skulls. Look neat. I like Skullboy stuff. And to wrap up the Atoms, we have the 2016 J Saw that she autographed for me. All right, so that's it for the Atoms. Slide in here. Next up, 
This is a particle, isn't it? Yep, this is a... Yep, Wyatt Tyler. <laughs> Dr. Discoff. So I got his... I think this was the last stamp he had run. Then I have another particle, the Christmas one, the Joy. The particle was neat. Everyone tried, grabbed it if we were hoping it was going to be the overstable putter we all wanted. But it wasn't really that much more overstable compared to a uh, NV. So didn't fill that slot and I believe it's retired now. Ooh, we got ions now. So I have the 10 year ion. It's only a 170 gram, so it's in like that special limited edition run. These were neat. I, I like throwing the ion initially, but I eventually moved over to the uh, anode because I like the smaller bead. Also got a mini orbit. It's got a little bit of the bursting popping through. It's really prevalent on the back there. And then my anode. So I got this one dyed up Pokeball. I had three of these made up. They were my putting putters. I kept one in pristine condition just to hang out or just to have out. Uh, this was on my niche market designs. Unfortunately, they're not doing any dyes anymore, but they did great work when they did it. And then Gothi's Dead Anode. I paid a lot for this. So at one point, my last ace was with a, a Gothi's Dead Anode. And unfortunately, I left that disc on a or by a basket and just walked away, obviously, because the stamp's cool. And then I went for like two and a half years without an ace, and it got to the point where I was so superstitious that I actually was seeking discs with this stamp to try and break the curse. And sure enough, the day this one arrived, uh, I ended up getting an ace to break the curse. So never got to throw it, so it's still in my bag, or it's still in, you know, being bag kept. Using it for art, though. A lot of my family members all golf and think disc golf, you know, hippie sport, not a real sport. So this is my friendly jab at them. Moving right along here, got the Electron Proxy. So every, everyone in the MVP family knows, if you're new, this was kind of a meme for years of, are they ever gonna make an Electron Proxy? It was available in every pro, uh, you know plastic. And everyone said they would putt with it if it was made in Electron. It took them a while, but they finally made it. Next up with the Special Edition Ohm. It's kind of a simple stamp, but I like it. It's real clean, just the fist grab and the, you know, the, electric, the electric, uh, lightning bolt. And then from Adopt Disc Off, I got the Christmas Ohm. Being a good little Catholic boy, I had to grab this one with the Christmas story on it. And wrapping up the putters, I'm pretty sure there's a stack of everything the same. Yep. Entropies. So, Maple Hill Edition. This is what I use to display in my, uh, in my basement here. I love the, like, you know, black, silver, copper tones kind of going on here. This is my favorite stamp, though. I, I kind of, you know bullied her into it. Amanda Melwicky, thank you. Her first stamp was the Robo Kitty. And she said she was going to do one with a dog. I'm like, you got to put it on the Entropy. So we call it the Entropuppy. Because we're always telling it to sit, boy. So she made her toy series the Entropuppy. Very happy with it. I have another one. I got to find it, though. It was like my spin-on finger disc in my office. And I don't know where it happened or where it ended up. I really, I want to have one to throw. So this is currently my backup. I have to find another one to throw, though. Because I, like I want to keep one for display and one for use. Next up, I got, I got a Summoner Steve, Steve Holloway. Uh, if you've seen our Soon Day post, that's Steve. So I got one of his uh, tour series, I don't know, support discs. I got the Erica Shepich Entropy here, real pretty. Got her to sign it for me, thank you. Bursty on the back too. I have a special edition Neutron, the uh, Rudolph Clausius uh, special edition. I like the black one. All my scientist discs that I use to display are black and white, so I try to find them. And I ended up with a second one. I don't know how, but I got a nice green one too. So again, this one might end up on trade bait or for uh, on the BST page. We'll see. Got a Brian Sweet Tour Series Entropy. I have not gotten it signed though. Real nice day glow yellow. And to wrap it up, I have the Dan Fairhurst. Loki stamp. I always like the him and you know Jacob Armbrist go by. He, uh, he's Loki. Jacob Armbrist is Thor. So real cool stamp. So these have been my putters that I use for display for collection. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you for watching this look at some of my disc golf collection. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and other disc golf content. Lastly. Thank you to my sponsor. For all your disc golf needs, check out Basket Bashers Disc Golf.